Hello and welcome to CJC Adventures. Cole here and today I'm in Dudley and I'm here at Barrow Hill Local Nature Reserve. Now who knew that Dudley actually had a volcano 300 million years ago? But it's true and they say you learn something new every day and that's pretty much what it's like for me and I've learned something new today <laughs> but really it doesn't surprise me because Dudley does have a lot of history underground a lot of hidden history that we may never get to see in anyone's lifetime so let's go and see what we can find at this very beautiful nature reserve a bit of information here about discovering the ancient past of Penns Net at Barrow Hill Local Nature Reserve and it says Barrow Hill is formed by a dome-shaped mass of dolerite, which is a hard, dark grey, black, igneous rock formed underneath what was once the Dudley Volcano. Who knew? And the dolerite was originally molten rock, magma, which rose up from below the Earth's crust, penetrating the surrounding rocks of the coal measures over 300 million years ago. In the millions of years that have passed since, it has its formation most of softer rocks and ash that spewed forth from the volcanic vents and which is covered by surviving underground magma chamber have been eroded away. Well, who knew that under the Black Country, under Dudley, there was once a volcano? And that would be what it looked like because Dudley was actually under the sea. But if you look on a map of Dudley you would never know because it's right in the middle of Great Britain but uh, that is pretty much the graphs what would be used at the time so yeah let's go and see what we can find anyway well this is part of what is the nature reserve as you may guess nature reserves mainly just have trees and other things to start with anyway I imagine. It does make you think how many years these trees have probably been here. I mean this is Dudley and Dudley is a very ancient old town. So <laughs> how many birds have been up that tree? Squirrels. Now walking through here I've just come across this. I have no idea what it is. Oh, as you get close, you can tell. It's an actual drain, I imagine. But this was actually buried into the ground. And that actually leads you up to where it comes out with the water. Oh. It's weird, though, the way it's just standing there for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dudley does have a lot of ghosts. You know, I've never seen one. I don't want to see one today, at least. But apparently, there is a lot of ghosts in Dudley. Now, this is what we call really, really weird. This is a real new one on me. All tagged up, created over. I have no idea where it used to be, it just goes over the main road. But that's as far as I'm going to go actually. She does give you the creeps here to be honest. You might not realise it, you know, actually, until you meet it. But, I mean, this long and winding path of just someone come down there and actually gave me the fright in my life when they just come from them steps. There's just somebody just walking along, that's all. But this is weird. Gives you that weird feeling of why it's actually here like this. I've never ever been blocked up. Oh, from an horror film. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, looking at that, I mean, if you ever, if you ever saw the film Eden Lake, yeah, it gives you that sort of film. 
um, feeling about that film. Oh. Yeah. I, anyway, moving on. Does look as though someone's been playing a bit of a swing rope. <laughs> yeah. No, not my sort of thing anymore. Someone on bikes, I imagine. Penetrated this area at some point. Now they do actually tell you to stay safe when you're heading through here. And I can understand why. Because I wouldn't like to come through here at night, to be fair. Nice view of the Black Country. You can see miles and miles. Lots of power lines as well. People just walking the dog there. There's a man and his dog. Now the Dudley Volcano had to be somewhere around this area. It is a pretty vast area, it doesn't look as though it is. But the volcano had to be somewhere around here. This is like the centrepiece of the actual nature reserve. So they usually go by the graphs of something what was in the centre, but I imagine that it was somewhere around this area because that's what they usually do. They usually when they create something like a nature reserve that's that's how they do it. They go by the history books. If you look all around here, there's, I mean, there's power lines just about everywhere. As it starts to get dark in a few hours, all of the birds are ready to go into sleep. <laughs> a bit like me, really, with the walking I've done today. They do have a bit of ground here. They do do things such as, um, well play area for the kiddies and stuff like that and I think there's a football field further over the back just off the main road so it is pretty used quite a lot this nature reserve or just on the edge of the nature reserve and I've now made it to Russell's Hall Hospital in Dudley now a little bit of a bit of information about Russell's Hall Hospital um, if you know Martin Kemp, of course he was in Spandau Ballet and EastEnders, the Craze film, guest appearances in Heartbeat and they actually opened the CT ward I think it was here, Russell's Hall Hospital, and really nice guy. And this was also featured in a programme called Bizarre ER. A bit of a funny programme really, it used to make you feel a bit strange because they had some really strange injuries from not very, you know, bad in, you know, sort of bad accidents, you know, they just come across with, they jump off a wall and end up with a shattered ankle or something like that, you know, but they'd actually film a later series of this, um, it was on BBC at the time. Have you ever look at Dudley Zoo, have you ever noticed the house that you see on the ground? You don't actually see it when you go around the zoo, but if you go past Castle Hill, on the way up to the town centre or down Castle Hill, you'll see it. Um, I always assumed that it was a zookeeper's house. I've never seen anyone go in or come out or live there. I don't know if they do. I don't know if it's offices or maybe, I don't know. I'm not quite sure. But there's not a lot of information to say what that house actually is. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you know, you go up to the town centre, that's leading up to there. So, yeah, if you know, please do let me know. <laughs> now, there's quite a lot of work going on at the moment all around Dudley. They're building the new tram line. It is taking, I think, a little bit more than it needs to. But 
I think a large majority of it is now completed. That is actually the station that you can see there. Um, that, that's, well, that will be the station by all accounts when the actual passing of the work is done. What will happen is that will be where they, well, it's where you wait for a tram, I imagine. But there's a lot of work gone on around Dudley over the past few years. There's a lot of investment. I mean, this is actually the back of Dudley Zoo. And, well, you can hear the animals every now and again when you walk past here. That's what I like about it around here. I want to mention about the zookeeper's house. I still don't know what this building is either. Back of Dudley Zoo. I really don't. I don't know if it's like a power station building or something. I really don't. They look, they look like public toilets, but they're not. And it's definitely Blackberry time. Because I've noticed how many Blackberries there are the blackberry bushes at the moment. <laughs> nice blackberry pie. And why not? <laughs> it's a proper British thing. I don't know whether they do it in America or wherever, but uh, yeah, it's what we do here in England. We do blackberry picking. It's a very popular thing. And that's it for today on CJC Adventures. Hope you've enjoyed today. We've had a bit of a jaunt round. We didn't find a volcano, did we? You know, I didn't uh, think we would. I, I was already holding my hopes up, but, um, you know, you're not going to see it, are we? It's well buried underground, like a lot of things in Dudley's. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe. Click on the subscribe icon, then the bell, you'll be notified when each video is uploaded. And do remember to share the video with someone who might like to see as well. Thanks for watching. It is much appreciated. Look after yourselves and each other. And I'll see you again next time. Goodbye for now.